September 22, 2017 when the strong winds that circle the Arctic slacken, cold polar air can escape and cause extreme winter chills in parts of the northern hemisphere. A new study finds that these weak states have become more persistent over the past four decades and can be linked to cold winters in Russia and Europe. It is the first to show that changes in winds high up in the stratosphere substantially contributed to the observed winter cooling trend in northern Eurasia. While it is still a subject of research, how the Arctic under climate change impacts the rest of the world, this study lends further support that a changing Arctic impacts the weather across large swaths of the northern hemisphere population centers. In winter, the freezing Arctic air is normally locked by strong circumpolar winds several tens of kilometers high in the atmosphere, known as the stratospheric polar vortex, so that the cold air is confined near the pole, says Marlene Kretschmer from PIC, the author of the study, to be published in the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society. We found that there's a shift towards more persistent weak states of the polar vortex, this allows frigid air to break out of the Arctic and threaten Russia and Europe with cold extremes. In fact this can explain most of the observed cooling of Eurasian winters since 1990. Warm Arctic, cold continents Despite global warming, recent winters in the northeastern U.S., Europe and especially Asia were anomalously cold Some regions like western Siberia even show a downward temperature trend in winter. In stark contrast, the Arctic has been warming rapidly. Paradoxically, both phenomena are likely linked, when sea ice north of Scandinavia and Russia melts, the uncovered ocean releases more warmth into the atmosphere, and this can impact the atmosphere up to about 30 kilometers high in the stratosphere disturbing the polar vortex. Weak states of the high-altitude wind circling the Arctic then favors the occurrence of cold spells in the mid-latitudes. Previous work by Kretschmer and colleagues identified this causal pathway in observational data and it is further supported by several climate computer simulation studies. Our latest findings not only confirm the link between a weak polar vortex and severe winter weather, but also calculated how much of the observed cooling in regions like Russia and Scandinavia is linked to the weakening vortex. It turns out to be most, says co-author Judah Cohen from Atmospheric and Environmental Research Massachusetts Institute of Technology U.S. Several types of weather extremes are on the rise with climate change, and our study adds evidence that this can also include cold spells, which is an unpleasant surprise for these regions. The effect is stronger over Asia and Europe than over the U.S. Circulation patterns drive our weather It is very important to understand how global warming affects circulation patterns in the atmosphere, says co-author Dim Kapamu from Vrij University at Amsterdam, Netherlands. Jet stream changes can lead to more abrupt and surprising disturbances to which society has to adapt. The uncertainties are quite large, but global warming provides a clear risk given its potential to disturb circulation patterns driving our weather including potentially disastrous extremes. End article Marlene Kretschmer, Dim Kamut, Laura Gell, Matthew Barlow, Eli Cyberman, Judah Cohen 2017 More frequent weak stratospheric polar vortex states linked to cold extremes. Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society. DOI 10.1175 PAM SD 160259.1 For further information please contact PIC Press Office Phone 49 Email Press at PicPotsdam.detwitter at PicClimate.PicPotsdam.ThePotsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research PIC Related Climate Change Article S Was That Climate Change? A new four-step framework aims to test the contribution of climate change to record setting extreme weather events. It's more than just climate change accurately modeling climate change and interactive human factors including inequality, consumption, and population is essential for the effective science-based policies and measures needed to benefit and sustain current and future generations. Climate change prompts Alaska fish to change breeding behavior A new University of Washington study finds that one of Alaska's most abundant freshwater fish species is altering its breeding patterns in response to climate change, which could impact the ecology of northern lakes that already acutely feel the effects of a changing climate. Current climate change news and events